I'm going to uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28. They talk about the blessing and the cursing. God's talking about his people, the natural branch of Israel. The last days, you know, it's the, the church, but it's still talking about the Jacob 12 son, the natural branch. Deuteronomy chapter 28. It's going to be the first part is talking about the, the blessing. If you be obedient to God's word. Okay. 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations. You see? God will set his people upon, upon high above all nations of the earth. You see? They say, above all nations of the earth. You see? God was sent to us. Well, that's why the United States was blessed, you know, that from Ephraim, from Jacob's seed. You know, like Britain, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, you know, and those all, and that Denmark and all the other country, you know, like Israel, you know, they from Jacob's seed. It's Judah, just like uh, France and all that. That's why they have plenty of food. You gotta pay attention. God blessed them with that. You know, because they were, that's the seed God had chosen, Abraham's seed. Came from Jacob and Isaac and Jacob. You know, you have to understand that. See, that's why a lot of nations like in Africa, they already did and having famine, starving, and what a lot of other nations like in Central America. You know, and you know, I still have to give food to them and all that stuff. A lot of other nations, you know, you got to pay attention. God had blessed them with that, you know. That's why people, other nations be trying to steal technology from the United States, Britain, Canada, France, and them other nations. You know, like China and a murder nation, Russia and all of them, trying to steal technology. You know, God give them that wisdom. But the United States give those other nations a lot of their technology and stuff like that. And they use it, start using it against them. Because they fell away from God. They fell into sin. Promote homosexuality, transgender, same-sex marriage, adultery fornication and all that, abortion, pain other, other countries to have abortion in their country and all that. If they don't have no abortion in their country, they hold back the money, they don't give them no money, they don't want to help them. You know, this is all ungodly. God is looking at all that, what we do, and he will punish for this. That's why he's punishing the world now with coronavirus. Just pay attention. You know, learn God's word. For God do things. You know, God punish you when you're just like in Israel and the Old Testament they'll fall into sin and stuff. God would punish them, send other nation after them, send pestilence, war, famine to destroy them. You know, all that's coming on us now is just the beginning. All right. They say, I will set thee on high above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. See, God giving a word to Moses, what the Lord said. It was Moses was saying to the people, Israel people. And verse 3 said, Blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. See, Lord said you will be blessed. You can have plenty of food, all that. You be in the field, you have plenty of food in the city, 
you can have peace in the city and stuff. You know, see, like right now, a city and I feel with violence. See, lots of mass killing and all that. That's why a lot say it's going to be like in the days of Noah. You go back in the days of Noah. You know, there was, you know, marrying, giving in marriage, and the world was filled with violence. See, and that's all what we see now. See, and verse 4 says, Bless shall be the fruit of thy body. And the fruit of thy uh, ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, and crease of thy cane, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. See, you know, like plenty of food, you can have plenty of food in your basket, you know, in the storehouse. And blessed shall thou be when thou art coming in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. You know, coming in, coming into your country, your house, or whatever. And when you go out or go to another country, you're going to still be blessed. Come back to your house, you'll be blessed. The Lord shall cause thy enemy that Rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. See, they will flee seven ways, even though they come against his people. The Lord shall, uh, the Lord shall command the blessing upon thee and thy storehouse and in all that thou set it thy hand unto and he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee see he will bless thee in the land of what the Lord giveth thee that's what Moses was saying to the people the Lord shall establish thee a holy people see the Lord shall Establish the a holy people unto himself. See, unto himself. See, God wants you to be holy unto him. That's why he told Abraham to be holy. And he had sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandment. See, if thou shalt keep the commandment. Of commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in his ways see and all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by thy name by the name of the Lord you see and say so all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord and they shall be afraid of thee. See, the other nation, other people going to be afraid of thee. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods and in fruits of, the, of thy body and in the fruits of thy cattle and in the fruits of the ground, thy ground, and the land which the Lord swear unto Thy father to give thee. See, I can get water to the father like Abraham. You know, Isaac. All right. Yeah, I get water to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to thy fathers. You know, he was going to keep bring him into the land uh, with milk and honey. You know, the land of Israel. But the people sin against God, you know. That's why I got in the first Babylon, you know, God took them out from the Israel, from the land of Israel. You know, because they sin against God. All right. The Lord shall 
open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven, to give the rain unto thy land and his season, and to bless all the works of thy hand, and thou shalt lend unto many nations. You see now, we don't, we're not lending it unto many nations no more. See, we borrow money, like from China, and where all the money be coming from, from China, so they said be borrowing money from China. You're supposed to be lending to the nation, like we used to do back in the 50s and, and, and before that in the 60s and all that. See, we owe $30 trillion in debt now. Maybe over, I don't know. But it said it got to around $30 trillion. That's what I heard before. But uh, we owe debt now. We are supposed to be learning to other nation. We're not learning on nothing to other nation no more. We'll be giving money to other nation, but we're borrowing it from the other nation. We're not supposed to do that. See, we're all in debt now. See, if you obey God, because we, we promote evil, you see, we left God. See, there was a time this whole nation was against sin. Fornication, it would make the boys marry the girl. We was against that homosexuality. We wouldn't tolerate that. You know, all this stuff, adultery, fornication. You know, we didn't tolerate the adultery, fornication. See, we would make the girl marry adultery. And even the Catholic Church said you couldn't take sacrament no more. You couldn't come to the church and take sacrament anymore once you divorce and remarry. All that was used to be. A lot of churches, they would speak against it. Preach against it, but not no more. See, there's very few. See, but it's about every last one of them used to do that way back then when I was little. So we done left God, see. And all the curses is coming upon us. See, we will become the tail. Like in verse, I'm going to read this verse, it could be all, I guess. In verse 13, it said, and the Lord shall make thee the head. See, we was the head back then. Now we're becoming the tail. See, and the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only. See, God wanted his people to be above only. That's why we could rule the other nation. Now, the other nation coming against us. We can't rule the other nation like we was before. Because we, we, we promote sin. And God destroy you for that. He will fight against you. Just like he said in the Old Testament. We read Jeremiah chapter 21, I think. Saying God said he will fight against you. Make those other nations beat you. You know, destroy a bunch of you. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. Thou shalt be above only. And thou shalt not not be beneath if thou, I mean, uh, let me see, and that, oh, let me read it over again. It's saying, the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath, if that they hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day. See, that's what Moses was saying, to observe and to do them. See, see, you will not be the tail. See, we are now we're becoming a tail in America. See, we're not the leader in the world no more. You're not the head. You don't see the man is not the head of his wife and children no more in the family. And then you know you're going down. Family is divided. You divided, you fall. The whole nation will fall. See, because because of sin. Promote sin. You have to learn that. Read God's word. 
obey the word of the God of, of the Lord God. See, if you don't obey the God's word, see, you'll be destroyed in the long run. God will punish you. You have to understand that. That's why you have to read God's word. Learn from the Old Testament how God did Israel when they would sin. You know. But that's what I wanted to bring to y'all today. And this is the blessing God saves to do for his people. That's talking about talking to the natural branch of Israel, Jacob 12 son, the natural branch. See. That's what a lot of people do not understand. You know. And it's the church in the last days. See. And he's still speaking to the natural branch. That's his people. You know, the, the 12 tribe of Israel represent the whole world now. See. We are the Gentile are grafted into the tribe. You have to understand that. But. This is what I want to bring. He give us all the blessing. Then he got start like in verse uh, 16 or 15. He got start going into the curse. What could be come upon you? What could come upon us? See, for being disobedient unto him, not keeping his commandments. Uh, thank y'all and may God bless y'all and give y'all wisdom and knowledge and understanding of his word.